Hi everyone, it's Monday at 2.20. Um, I feel really weird today. I made some mistakes yesterday. Um, I, first mistake was going out on Saturday and wasting what little gas I had. Because when I went to go do radio last night, I was freaking out because I looked at how much gas I had. I like literally made it to the ga or the uh, radio station on fumes. So, um, I asked a couple people if I could borrow $5, and the person I was hoping to borrow $5 from was not able, so I ended up calling a taxi driver friend of mine, who, um, also hung out with me for a while. I rode around in his cab for a little while, um, he, he runs his own cab business, so it's just him by himself, but, um. He bought me a beer, and then uh, one of his customers um, was really drunk and needed uh, McDonald's really badly. So then I ate some fries, which was such a mistake, because I really, like, I can feel it today. Which is good that I can, because, like, I will never do that again. Um, and because he's a sweet, sweet person, he's going to take me out for Chinese food today, which is just awesome. Um, he said he might hire me. He doesn't really have that much business in the daytime, but he said I could drive in the daytime if I can't get hired at the first company that I worked for, um, which is the biggest company in Ann Arbor. So I just called them today and left a message with somebody. Um, they're having a job fair on Wednesday, so I don't know for sure if I can get hired back there, but I'm kind of at the point where I don't have a choice. I gotta try it. It's, as much as I don't want to go back and work there, I am going to attempt to and uh, sit myself back in their cars. Um, yeah, so I rode around with my friend last night um, till like 3 in the effing morning. I got so tired, um, I finally talked him into dropping me off at my car. One thing about a lot of the taxi drivers is they talk a lot, which is okay, because, I mean, I talk a lot, but, you know, sometimes you don't feel like talking. Um, I saw my ex-boyfriend twice last night. He looked so angry while he was driving, and it just made me feel bad for him. Um, I got harassed on the radio last night, which was totally thumbs down. Uh, this guy called... And sometimes this happens, you you announce something that you're about to play and someone doesn't like what you said about it. So I played Bayside, which is um, a punk rock emo band. Um, they, they're they still around, although their their original members are dwindling because there was a freakish bus accident a few years ago, so they lost like half the members of their band. So anyway, I played something and I announced it as punk rock. They are punk rock and emo, so that was where the guy got mad. He called up and used the F word like every other sentence, told me that this was not effing punk rock. I don't know about music if, you know, this is what I think punk rock is. He doesn't know where I'm from, but he was surprised to find out I was from the area and he just was really rude. So, um, I did what I do best, which was act defensive, and um, tell him thanks a lot for making me feel bad. Really appreciate it. And um, he kept saying, no, that's not what the point is. And I was like, well, then why are you calling to bitch me out? I mean, because usually that's, that's your point, is that you're trying to berate the person who's controlling the radio. So after I got off the phone, I started to get an anxiety attack, which is totally uncool. I get them occasionally, too often, depending on what's happening in my life. I tried to do deep breaths, but I was kind of like in the middle of doing radio, so it was a little difficult. And basically, um, I played his request. He requested a punk rock band that's a local band. And then directly after that, I played Hey, F You by the Beastie Boys. And then I played Watch Your Step by, um, I keep wanting to say Dionne Warwick, but it's, uh, Patti LaBelle. Um, it just kind of worked out that way. I got out the Patti LaBelle record and I saw that song and I was like, oh, that's perfect. We'll do that. Um, that kind of thing drives me crazy. So then I posted a status on my Facebook about it, and this guy that I know from high school, instead of replying saying, oh, that sucks, like, what a jerk, he re replied, 
Yeah, Bayside does suck, though. So I decided that I'm going to stop tolerating stuff like that on my Facebook. When people get negative, I'm just going to delete them. Even though I've known him since I was 14 years old, he can suck it because that was really rude. And I didn't appreciate that. So um, I told him so on my status. And thank goodness one of the other DJs backed me up and said, well, this is freeform, so you can play whatever you want. Play whatever you want. But, um, yeah, so I deleted him, and uh, I've got this, I'm at a new plateau since it's been about 12 years since I graduated high school, and we're one of the first generations where Facebook connects you, and you kind of don't have a choice. Like, all these people surface from the way back, and they're like, oh, I remember you. You're probably still the same person. Can I stalk you on Facebook? So, um, I'm kind of at the point where I am going to start deleting a bunch of those people from my past because I don't see a point in having them on there. Um, my life as it stands is not anywhere near what it was when I was 18 years old, so I'm kind of over it. Um, so he was the first installment. Um, I never see my best friend anymore, and, and uh... I went. Mean, I used to hang out with her a lot, and that was one of the reasons why I was afraid to delete people from my Facebook was because I kind of thought, well, I'm probably going to see them at a party, and I don't want them to be like... But one of my other friends suggested that I just lie and say Facebook deleted them. So whatever, whatever, um, those people are going to start disappearing from my Facebook. That's all I know for sure. Because I am just so sick of negativity. I'm so sick of people thinking they're funny and and saying rude things when they're clearly rude like he didn't put an lol you know like that was rude Bayside sucks anyway well you know what everybody's entitled to their own opinion he's allowed to say whatever he wants but um I don't appreciate that negativity so bye 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 so um yeah I was out till three in the morning last night I slept a little late today it's been a weird day it's rainy so the yard work we were planning on doing today we can't do today it's like off and on raining um so I need to vacuum is what I need to do I vacuumed my room but um I need to vacuum the rest of the house because it's something to do and because it needs to be done um I wasn't even really gonna post today because I didn't have much to talk about besides what happened last night so, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, cross your fingers for me. I need to start working again. I'm getting really tired and depressed about not working. It's wearing on my nerves. So, um, anyway, have a great day, everybody, and take it easy.